So they're asking us or telling us to follow the banana, banana trail. Let's see what that looks like. Um, obviously we're using four loops. Um, sometimes when you get to an activity like this, you think, boy, that good old step and turn would come in handy, but that's the point. Thinking about how to write better code, um, which a for loop is better code. Uh, it's more adaptable and, but in different situations. So we have a trail of bananas. So in this case, um, I don't think I'm going to focus on the B in bananas because we're not really focusing on going to each banana. Looks to me like we need to focus on moving the turtles to the bananas. So let's make our for loop for T and turtles. And sometimes you make a for loop and realize you should have made a for loop for something else, like you may have experienced with the bushes and the bananas. Um, so we don't have to turn to the turtles, which is odd. Um, so far, we're used to all of our for loops having turn to and step distance to, but we don't have to turn to the turtles. If you put that in there, they might give you two stars and tell you could do it with less code, but that's okay. But I do need to step distance to. And remember, a for loop means for each of the turtles. So it'll be for turtle one, or turtle zero, then turtle one, then turtle two. Okay, now, after the monkey steps to the turtle, what do we need? We need that turtle to step. Um, so we want the T to step 13? <coughs> 13? Okay. I always get a little nervous when I get like an odd number because they tend to have like even numbers or like five and 10 and, but let's see. So let's see if 13 works. So if for each turtle, the monkey steps to the turtle and then the turtle goes 13 and the monkey steps to the turtle, the turtle goes 13, monkey steps to the turtle, the turtle goes 13. That's what that loop does. Let's take a look at it. 